So why can't we all get along? Sometimes that is uh, easier said than done, especially when you're talking about hundreds of students and dozens of personalities. In Baldwin County, the effort to cut down on bullying seems to be making great progress. Local 15's James Gordon joins us from our Baldwin County Bureau with a look at some key programs that are making a difference every day. Well, Kim, Student Peer Helpers is one program. Each school has one, some with up to 100 students joining at most, at most schools. And other programs are expanding and certainly catching on. Every school in Baldwin County now has a peer helper group. These young ladies at Alberta Middle School are in the midst of writing and editing a promotional video for their group at their school. What we try to show is how to respect others and show kindness to everyone. It was a year ago today when the county DA, along with the superintendent, said that anti-bullying efforts should and would be a priority. There is a connection, of course, uh, for many school shootings and school incidents. Fast forward one year, and we now see workshops for more and more students to join peer helper groups. Also, other groups are expanding, like this one at Spanish Fort High School. This one is called Project Outreach. It's where students spend time getting to know other students with special needs. We want to teach um, that every person in our school is, is of, of great value and that as you engage people in life that you may, gauge, and you may interact with people who are different from you, whether it's based on their disability, whether it's based on their culture. Parks, who has been instrumental in designing the outreach program here, says other schools are jumping on the anti-bullying bandwagon as well. In fact, this year, Project Outreach formed its gr a group called Project Outreach Gulf Coast, where we're trying to take our program and put it in other schools. Fairhope High School was our first pilot school, and this year they started a Project Outreach Fairhope. And uh, our ultimate goal is to go to other schools, even down to the middle and elementary schools. At Spanish Fort High, Outreach is the one program with the most members and volunteers at the school. You're not just helping them, you're interacting with them and forming a relationship. Well, the outreach program helps place and assimilate some of those special needs students in key organizations and groups throughout the school, including the football team, by the way. In Baldwin County, James Gordon, Local 15 News.